bases is relatively new. Um, but at the same time, I think it's pretty impressive to look at how uh, Aerodrome has climbed to the top of the ranks, as you know, Evan alluded to, but even crossing Uniswap, right? So it's just interesting to see how it's, you know, almost 3.2, 3.1x uh, the TVL um, for Aerodrome as compared to Uniswap. Um, and after that, you know, it drops off pretty heavily. So Aerodrome is, is by far and away uh, the dealer's choice for um, dealing on base. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Wagme TV. We have a special one for you today. We're talking Aerodrome, ticker A-E-R-O. Um, one that has been kind of flying under the radar, but has had a run up recently. So we're going to dive into what all it is, talk some TA, and kind of break it down for you. So Ev, kick us off. Yeah, appreciate that, Sia. So let's dive into Aerodrome and talk about the largest AMM A -M -M on base. So... Aerodrome is essentially the sister app of Velodrome, which is the largest DEX or automated market maker on Optimism. But because those frameworks are, are so close and base is built on the OP stack, Aerodrome has a natural spot as the top AMM on base. So let's dive into the type of liquidity you can provide on Aerodrome and, and the yields that you're able to actually get. So... Uh, to start, you can see there is just an array of different uh, liquidity pool pools provided on Aerodrome. Um, you see really some pretty high rewards for the type of, uh, you know, what we would call safe af assets in crypto um, being staked. So, yeah, within, you know, the, the wrapped ETH USDC pool, you could be bringing in around 44% APR, along with some more DGEN plays like... OVN USDC plus that's going to be up at 330%. Right. And this is really, insane. <laughs> it, it's insane. And it's because this is really where a lot of people are going to swap their stable coins into some of the meme coins that we've been talking about on the base network. So I think if you were to sort this list by uh, the APR percentage, yeah, upwards of almost 500% on here, just to get into these um, you know, kind of random tokens uh, that are lesser known by probably the greater uh, crypto community. So, um, yeah, this is a really good tool. It was recently uh, backed by Coinbase Ventures, funded by Coinbase Ventures. And so, you know, Coinbase really sees them as a pinnacle of the base e ecosystem and really a great way for you to be able to swap from maybe some of your more stable tokens um, into maybe some more crazy meme coins or into other apps that end up popping up on the base layer too. So um, yeah, so with, with these rewards, you're actually paid out in the Aero token, which is native to the Aero, Aerodrome network. Um, and so Mata, let's hop into some TA to talk about the Aero token. Yeah, definitely. Seems like a, pretty much like a, a Uniswap competitor, right? Obviously just really focused on base, which is something that we've been talking a lot about. Um, so that's definitely very, very interesting. Um, so let me dive into the arrow chart here. So a couple things to notice, right? It's it's fairly new. I think we've done this a couple of times, right? It's, it's tougher to do technical analysis on something that's so new. Um, so obviously, this is a little bit elementary. As we run through this, obviously, it's had an awesome run up. I mean, something Something very, very awesome, something we've seen a lot of lately, but also similarly, something we've seen a lot of lately is quite a dump. So you can see it, it, it has been holding this um, uptrend for quite a while. It looks like today, which is um, you know about an hour and 40 minutes ago, it's down about 4%, which is dipping it below this line. What I would love to see is for it to obviously recover and close above this line sometime tomorrow so that it's just a wick that goes under here. Um, really, the only time to be concerned is if it actually closes below this, then you might uh, be worried that this could be a breakdown of the uptrend. Um, to go a little bit deeper, <clears throat> the first line of support is going to be right around here, this 134 um, to 135 range. So that's going to be your first line of support, not too far down. The next, um, if it really dumped out, which would be like a 40, 50% dump, would be your 87 to 88 cent range. Um, so that's really, really interesting to look at. I would say kind of worst case scenario, you have some really awesome support here and obviously it'd have to break through here. So barring, you know, Bitcoin doesn't completely tank, I would say this is kind of my low end um, for this. Um, if we're looking at um, kind of the higher end, right? Let's say 
you know, tomorrow we check back in on this and this, uh, this closes above this, this uptrend. The first level of resistance that you're going to be looking at is right in this two ish dollar range. Um, and then from there, something to really look at is where can we go from here, right? You're in price discovery if you're able to break out of some of these areas. So some really interesting things from this high um, up through these highs, it only wicked above, it was never able to close above. And then even touching this peak here, we're, we've got a nice upward trend line, which is awesome to see. And from an up up uptrend perspective within the next couple months, if it continues to, to go up, I mean, you're looking at 90, 100%. And of course, the longer it goes out, the higher that it can go, which is really, really awesome to see. Um, yeah, I guess one other thing I was looking into was um, the Fibonacci levels. So I know <clears throat> Garcia actually looks at these often. So if you drag this down here uh, between its recent high and the lows, What's really interesting is the 0 0.382 comes out to right at that previous um, support level that we were talking about. So again, in a worst case scenario, it comes drops down to the 382 and it drops down to that um, support there, which was really interesting to see kind of the confluence of those levels. So if I were not in arrow and I was just looking to get into the token itself and not looking to actually utilize the protocol, I'd probably looking, be looking for a retrace sometime down here. In fact, you'd have to be patient in order to see that if you ever get that again. Um, that's kind of what I'm seeing. I think it has some really awesome um, work that can be done. And I think being on base and tying itself to base is a really cool um, way to differentiate itself from Uniswap. So I, I love the idea of it, but that's what I'm seeing on the charts. Love it. And, and obviously it seems like it, it, it has had a steady uptrend and, and, you know, pretty quick rise to where it's at now, but it seems like it does have some additional potential. And I, I think one other thing in, in just kind of heat checking a, a project is obviously you want to follow the, the users and the total value locked in terms of the activity on the, on the protocol or on the chain, whatever you're talking about. Right. Um, so I think one thing we just want to really quickly highlight is where it's at from a base perspective uh because obviously you know bases is, is relatively new um but at the same time i think it's pretty impressive to look at how uh aerodrome has climbed to the top of the ranks as you know evan alluded to but even crossing uniswap right i mean uniswap isn't known to support base um but at the same time v3 does have support for that um so it's just interesting to see how it's you know almost 3.2 3.1 x uh the tvl um, for Aerodrome as compared to Uniswap. Um, and after that, you know, it drops off pretty heavily. So Aerodrome is, is by far and away uh, the dealer's choice for um, dealing on base. Uh, so it's really interesting to see that. And I think also clicking into this just really quickly, you know, the TVL follows obviously the, the price action pretty closely uh, going from, you know, uh, a, somewhat of a low here in December and then in February uh, to March kind of picking back up. Um, and it kind of serves as a little bit of a delayed indicator for the price action, because obviously, you know, the price is going to follow uh, the activity on the chain as well um, in, in a DEX like this. So um, I just think it's really, really interesting that it's, it's climbed to the top so quickly uh, on base and has had so much success from a, a TVL perspective and volume perspective. Yeah, and I love your Uniswap V3 call out there because Slipstream, um, which is the newest upgrade that's going to be coming to Aerodrome, it's actually already hit that sister app that I talked about, Velodrome, and now coming to Aerodrome this week or next week. It's the fork of Uniswap V3. So you're actually able to have more efficient swaps, more efficient liquidity providing. Um, you're actually able to set the price range that you want to provide your liquidities, which would be very useful for highly volatile tokens and actually very useful for um, stable coins that are very close to their peg. You're able to be really efficient with the money that you're going to add in as a liquidity provider. So they're obviously keeping up with the competition. They see that Uniswap is uh, a competitor in their space and they're going to continue to upgrade provide more features to at least be in parity with the newest stuff that's out on uniswap um i think something we've also talked about on this channel is the curve wars in the past essentially aerodrome works the same where the tvl that you have locked or the liquidity that you have locked uh, is pro proportional to the emissions or rewards that you get for each um, staking session, each epoch. And so that's another reason why you see a ton of demand coming for this token is people want these new emissions, new token unlocks 
to be sent to their pool to be able to get the reward. So I think an important note with Aerodrome, if you're going to be staking, see what some of these large TVL holders are allocating their funds to and follow that. That's where the best rewards are going to be on Aerodrome. So definitely something to watch out for. Yeah, that's a great call out and an overall very interesting project. So obviously we'll continue to, to cover it here uh, on Wagme TV. So stay tuned for that. Let us know in the comments if you've heard of it. Um, you know, if you use it all, we, we'd be really interested to kind of hear more from, from the audience, from the viewers. Um, obviously like, comment, and subscribe if you got some value out of this. Uh, very interesting project and we'll keep you guys updated. But until next week, Wagme.